Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 11.2 integrating f of ax plus b, where a and b are constants. 11.2 represents chapter 11, section 2 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 2 textbook. Now, up on the board, I've got three y equations, and for each of these y equations, I have written dy over dx. Let's have a look at the first line. When y is equal to sine 2x plus 3, I know that dy over dx is equal to cos 2x plus 3. I also know that going from dy over dx back to y is called integration. Therefore, the integral of 2 cos 2x plus 3 will just be sine 2x plus 3 plus c. Next line. When y is equal e to the power 4x plus 1, dy over dx is equal 4e to the power 4x plus 1. Like I said before, going from dy over dx back to y is called integration. Therefore, I can conclude that the integral of 4e to the power 4x plus 1 will just be e to the power 4x plus 1 plus c. The third line. When y is equal tan 3x, I know that dy over dx is equal 3 sec squared 3x. Going from dy over dx back to y is called integration. Therefore, I can conclude that the integral of 3 sec squared 3x will just be tan 3x plus c. Now, I'm interested in the following integral. How do I find this integral? Well, the first step is to put a rectangle around cos 2x plus 3 and a rectangle around 2 cos 2x plus 3. Now, the coefficient of cos over here is 1 and the coefficient of cos over here is 2. How do I go from 1 to 2? Well, I can divide by 2. Therefore, the integral of this is just a half sine 2x plus 3 plus c. Moving on to my next integral, my next juicy integral, I want to find the following integral. My first step is to put a rectangle around e to the power 4x plus 1 and a rectangle around 4e to the power 4x plus 1. The coefficient of e to the power 4x plus 1 over here is 1 and the coefficient of e to the power 4x plus 1 over here is 4. How do I go from 1 to 4? I can divide by 4. Therefore, this particular integral will just be a quarter e to the power 4x plus 1 plus c. My next juicy integral that I want to find is the integral of sec squared 3x dx. Okay, now I put a rectangle around sec squared 3x and a rectangle around 3 sec squared 3x. Over here, the coefficient of sec squared 3x is 1. Over here, the coefficient of sec squared 3x is 3. How do I go from 1 to 3? I can divide by 3. Therefore, this particular integral will just be a third tan 3x plus c. Now, something very juicy happens over here. If I look at this particular expression, this one over here and this one over here, what I notice is the following. What I've done is taken out 1 over the coefficient of x. So over here, the coefficient of x is 2, so I take out 1 over 2. Over here, the coefficient of x is 4, so I take out 1 over 4. And over here, the coefficient of x is 3, so I take out 1 over 3. Now I can generalize and write the following very important statement. That statement is integral of f dash of ax plus b dx will just be 1 over the coefficient of x, in this case it is a standard function f of ax plus b plus c. Over here I've got my generalized statement, I've used that statement to write the following integrals. I'm going to be using these integrals to find these integrals. Let's have a look at part a. This here integrates to 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 2, multiplied by 2x plus 1, to the power 3 plus 1, which is 4, divide by 4, 
plus c. I can simplify this and write 1 over 8, 2x plus 1 to the power of 4 plus c. Moving on to part b. This first term over here can be rewritten as 2 multiplied by 1 over 3x minus 4. And this over here integrates to 2 multiplied by 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 3, ln mod of 3x minus 4, which simplifies to 2 over 3 ln mod of 3x minus 4. So the first term integrates to 2 over 3 ln mod of 3x minus 4 plus this term over here integrates to 1 over the coefficient of x in this case is 5 e to the power 5x plus 1 plus c moving on to part c the first term integrates to 5 multiplied by 1 over the coefficient of x in this case it is minus 4 tan of 1 minus 4x. The second term integrates to minus a half multiplied by 1 over the coefficient of x. In this case, it is 7 cot 7x minus 2. The third term can be split into 3 multiplied by 1 over 5 minus 5x. And this here integrates to 3 multiplied by 1 over the coefficient of x, in this case it is minus 5, ln mod of 5 minus 5x. That there, ladies and gents, simplifies to minus 3 over 5, ln mod of 5 minus 5x. Okay, so the third term integrates to minus 3 over 5, ln mod of 5 minus 5x, and then you include your plus c, the constant of integration. The final step is to simplify each term. So the first term can be written as minus 5 over 4 tan 1 minus 4x. And then the second term can be written as minus 1 over 14 cot 7x minus 2. Then the third term minus 3 over 5 ln 5 minus 5x plus the c. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.